Can I just say? Oh <laughs> Can I just say what I said earlier about the Let's Talk, where my friends and I talk about everything and everything. And today we're talking about Halloween. <laughs> Does that work? Can I do that? Oh, sure. Thanks. I like that we both said sure instead of sure. Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Actually, could that already have been the intro? Because that, that's fine with me. I just didn't press Yes, that. we have plenty of cold intros. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> okay, well, with that being said, I shall introduce myself, and I am Steph. Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs> well, I already introduced myself. I'm Steph, and I wanted to talk about Halloween with my friends. Introduce yourself, guys. <laughs> well, okay, I'll go first then. Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan. Yeah, you don't know who I am, but I'm the producer for this show, apparently. And yeah, have fun. And I guess I'll go next. Hi, I'm Heidi. I'm just a random friend that they invited onto the show. Welcome. And I'm Mikhail. I help. No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, thank you for helping, Mikhail. Don't don't give him credit for not doing anything. <laughs> Yeah, I said some stuff. Okay. That's all. <laughs> like we said earlier, this is friends talking about anything and everything, and we are gonna talk about Halloween. Why would we talk about Halloween? Because it's three days away. And I don't know, I think honestly, Halloween has been already a hectic month. Too much is going on. I yes, Halloween's a very I'm hectic like month. <laughs> there's, there's just too much going on. It's ridiculous. Halloween might be my favorite month, guys. <laughs> well, with that being said, let's just, you know, announce that Halloween is Jordan's birthday. Who's that? You. I don't know that guy. How old are you turning? Uh, we don't need to know about that. <laughs> so old. I think he's too old to trick or treat, for sure. You're Which never candy. too old to trick or treat. You could be a grown ass man and knock on the door for candy. I'm a grown ass man right now to ask for candy. See, Mikhail? You could do that. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, but on Jordan's 18th birthday, he said, That's our last time trick or treating. And then we went the next year. <laughs> no, we did. Are you sure? Well, no, I did. Not, not at 19. Oh, what? You did? <laughs> well, I mean, no, I didn't. <laughs> the last time we all went trick-or-treating around my 18th birthday or so hey. was that when i tried to dress up as a wannabe uh Har harajuku girl maybe it's the same halloween where the guy said aren't you guys too old to be trick-or-treating and then i died a little bit on the inside <laughs> jordy were you supposed to be like black samurai or something like that not trying to be racist but by the way guys i'm black so <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you probably can't tell because you can't see a Skype avatar, but yes, because he's black. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay, what were we going to talk about? Oh, so, one of the first topics we were going to talk about was costumes. What is Speaking of black samurais. <laughs> you've seen so far. Wait, what was the question? What was the worst costumes you've seen so far this year? Hmm... Because they're pretty oh. scandalous. Well, everything's being sexy, and it's like sexy everything. Okay, I wouldn't call this the worst, but I saw a sexy John Oliver, and I loved it. You mean that's Doesn't the be best costume? Yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's he's John Oliver? He's on the the Daily Show. He used to be on the Daily Show um, every once in a while. With John Stewart. Yeah, he was a guest. John Stewart is. Oh. Okay. So the God. Daily Show on Comedy Central, oh. which is, you know, he's opposite oh, okay. of... okay, uh, Community! Colbert. Yeah, 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 he's the British guy on Community. Oh, there yeah. you yeah. go. Okay, yes, I don't yes, know yes. him by his name, I just, if I see his face, I I, I know where from. Okay. You know him as Professor Duncan on Community. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there's a sexy John Oliver, and it's wonderful. Um, she super sexy. I, I, like, it's just John Oliver with his suit and, like, a plaid shirt and tie and glasses, but no pants. Like, no pants. But then how can anyone, I mean, like, unless you knew who John Oliver was, is it, wouldn't he just, wouldn't that person just be a 
person. A person? <laughs> wait, 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 yeah, wait. Just a dressed up person. Wait, so is it are you sure it's sexy John Oliver and not just John Oliver? <laughs> yeah, John Oliver is kinda sexy. I mean he has a British accent, guys. I mean, come on. In his own right. I don't know. Um I don't know. Some sexy costumes are really like um, have you heard of, or have you guys seen, like, the sexy Olaf costume from Frozen? Like, seriously? Oh, yeah. Olaf? I thought it was hot. I don't find it attractive. Well, not for you, Steph. Not for you. I don't know. Like, um, like, I was looking on, um, I think Spirit or some Halloween store online, and they literally have everything go from infant to toddler to child to teen to adult to adult sexy and then and then it just stops there that is like the list of costumes now wait is, well uh, if you search on walmart you can find like fat like <laughs> that's terrible but um section for plus size costumes yeah but then the worst part is you don't even search plus size like you search like fat women and you get costumes it's oh terrible oh my god that's so mean on uh play buzz i saw a funny article or a funny list of 21 basic bitch costumes oh my god what does it's, that even look it's, like it's pretty much basic bitches doing halloween costumes that everyone is tired of seeing and um the worst one i think there was the costumes of miley cyrus Doing oh, with the twerking. The yeah, with the finger and doing the tongue gesture. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that costume pretty much died when uh, uh, I saw this pop up for a porno that I did not watch called Miley's Sex Tape, and it was of a porn star that was supposed to be quote unquote Miley Cyrus with, you know, the whole the white suit thing with the stupid haircut with the tongue all over the place, and it was, it was, it was a porno. And I thought, this is it, this is the end. Please let it be the end. Oh, it's just not going to be the end. <laughs> I just saw what you were talking about, Mikhail, and I, well... It's kind of embarrassing. Wonder Woman's on there, too, but I didn't do the Wonder Woman thing for Halloween. It was Comic-Con, so I think that's an exception. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Anything goes for Comic-Con, I think, as long as it's, like, nerd culture related. Yeah, like my, for... like, like my terrible Michonne cosplay during Comic-Con. <laughs> Bad, George, I, like, I actually I really liked it. It was actually really good. When I saw it, I, I, I laughed out loud, and I don't usually laugh out loud <laughs> to myself. No, I think the best costumes that I saw was I posted about it, or I post about it, maybe I forgot, sometime this month, but it was just like really clever costumes that people made. Like, example, um,. You know those, like, uh, the paint samples that you could get at, like, Home Depot? Do you yes, know yes, the yes. The cheaper things? Yeah, yes. he got, like, a bunch of those. Stuck, like, he, he got a bunch of gray ones, stuck them on a shirt, and he was 50 shades of gray. That's amazing. Or there was, like, people who dressed up as the Black Eyed Peas, and they literally had black eyes, and they were dressed up in clothes with a giant P on it. <laughs> God. And I was like, God. <laughs> I, hate I don't know it, if it's clever it's or just so literal. It, it's kind of super literal, like like the like the redheaded kid who oh, yeah, strapped yeah. bread to his body, so he was a ginger bread man. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty literal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so good. Like I was looking at it, I was like, I I don't know, I was like mad, but it it was really good. <laughs> Weird things. Oh, I saw a pizza costume. Apparently, that got number one off some kind of U.S. weekly entertainment thing, but it's like a costume where it looks like a pizza slice, and then the point goes down to, like, the girl's lower region. Well, yeah, oh. so the guy knows exactly where to start eating. Yeah, that we know where to, <laughs> we know where to get the ranch. Dude, that is the worst. So you know where to <laughs> toss your salad with the ranch? What? That didn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I give you credit. That's fine. <laughs> well, with um, so I haven't really seen a lot of Halloween movies 
Mm-hmm. So what, what are what are some of the classics that like everyone's has everyone has seen, but you know I'm like over here being a lame and never watching any. Have you? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Have you never seen Hocus Pocus? I was a kid and I don't really remember movies from when I from from any movie before I was twelve. I don't remember. Hocus Pocus is a classic. Yes, I like that one with with um with Kiss Me I'm Allison. What the? Anyway. <laughs> Hocus Pocus, I guarantee you, if you turn on Disney Channel right now, it's playing. Or Halloween Town with Calabar. No, Halloween Town could go eat a goat. Halloween Town wasn't that bad, honestly. Halloween Town was bad. It, was, Is... it wasn't the bad. It was Calabar's, Calabar's Revenge that made me question it. And then there was a Halloween, what is it, like High? Halloween Town High? Was that, am I thinking the right yeah, yeah, yeah. They had Halloween Town High. Um, I remember really liking that just for one actor who was also in High School Musical. Lucas Gabriel. Yeah. What does he look Sorry, like? Lucas Grable. 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 Grable? Grable? Grable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, it. That's a dumb name. <laughs> right? <laughs> Grabeel? Is that how you say it? He, he's, he, he's a blonde, white boy, uh, short hair, kind of. I found him, but who was he? He was the best friend in, in Halloween Town High. Yeah. Oh, I, I never watch Halloween Town High. Well, oh, God. Why Wait, is David oh. Radcliffe, like, on the same images as him, though? They who? Don't look anything alike. Who's David Radcliffe? I don't know who oh, David shit. Radcliffe <laughs> is. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe or Elijah Wood? Who are we talking about? <laughs> you know. Wait, wait, wait. David Radcliffe, really Daniel awesome, Radcliffe's I brother. I did not know they looked alike oh. until until like just recently, and I was like, dude, the simple fact that they get mistaken for each other is nuts. And he's also signed for Elijah Wood at least once in his life. Yep, in Japan. Yeah. That's the one where he was trying to explain to the girl, but he didn't have, like, um, he just an interpreter, so he just signed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I heard about that one. Uh, wait, so going back to Hocus Pocus, I don't know if, if I'm remembering correctly, but was there a breakdancing scene? What like, in any... the hell are you talking about? I don't, I don't okay. Think no. So. no, okay. You're talking about Teen Witch. Oh my god! No, 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 no. no, that's that's something else. No, I know, I know it's not Teen Witch. <laughs> I definitely know it's not Teen Witch. No man, I think you're thinking of Teen Witch. That that break dance? No, they weren't break dancing. They were like rapping, rapping. dancing. Wait, which one was Teen Witch? Top that, or how does the song go? Top that, top that. Something, something, something. Top that. Like, all I remember is a top that. That's terrible. I honestly don't even remember seeing that movie. The only, like, okay, I was, well, till this day, I'm still, like, freaked out about horror movies. And I've, I mean, I got the gist of, like, the, the, um, what is it? Like, the classics, which would be, what, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Is that considered Halloweenish? That it? that's just a horror movie. Yeah. Oh, it's just a horror movie. That's it. Okay. So <laughs> Halloween obviously is. Yeah, with with Michael Myers. That's that's okay, that's Myers. a Halloween movie. And then um, what else is there? Oh, um, well, going back to like Disney ones, Under Wraps. Let's that not talk about fun. Under Wraps, please. Huh? <laughs> Let's stay that's away just... from Disney for now. I pretty much haven't seen any of these movies. Really? Yep. Um, I'm so happy for your life because you you are a better person for not having to watch any of them. <laughs> they weren't that bad, honestly. The thirteenth year, Steph. The thirteenth year. We're we're gonna discuss that in the future, not on this one. Oh god. <laughs> Keep that for future. Okay, so one Halloween movie that I think is like has to be on this list is probably like Troll 2, right? I is that? Haven't seen any troll movies. They're eating him, and then next oh, they're, gonna they're gonna eat, eat me! me. Oh okay. my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I know what you're talking about now. Haven't seen the full movie, but I saw it on like, I think it was like worst acting. I think it was like on worst like a worst acting clip on YouTube or something like that, and I, I saw that part. What was that a Watch was... Mojo clip? 
I think so. Because, like, on the other one, like, another one from that video was, like, the garbage day. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid part with the, I, I guess it's thrown at him. I no, forgot. look at Sean the chest. Is that it? I thought, like, some kind of spear, like, gets thrown at him. That's Troll 2 again. Oh, that's Troll 2. Okay, I gotta mix it. <laughs> oh, no, now you're thinking of Leprechaun. God damn it. You mean Leprechaun in the... Dude, that was <laughs> the best iteration of Leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, it was. Snoop Dogg. Oh, no. God, yes. No. Okay, Where all the blood looked like custard. around Halloween time? It was, right? Like, did it take place like during Halloween mansion, time? Or? And they have a party. Was that a Halloween movie? I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you because I tried to wipe that movie from my memory. Yeah, nothing's as bad as, like, orange blood. Yeah, okay, like, hold up. If you guys blood. don't know the premise of the movie Bones, let me tell you. Bones it stars Snoop Doggy Dog back when he did, wanted to be an actor, and it's a horror movie, alright? So Snoop Dogg plays this pimp-type character. Right, and he has no, all this money. He's called something something bones, and everyone's like, "Oh man, he's so cool, whatever." Uh, so one day, he messes around, and all of his closest friends, all of them, stab him once. Oh, yeah, they all take turns stabbing him. They all like, take wait, turns mean, stabbing him. Is it a ritual, or they just wanted to stab him? No, like there, he's like, he's gonna die tonight. So one guy stabs him, like you guys are in this too. So everyone grabs a knife and stabs him. <laughs> and like, and like he's alive for this entire thing. So he watches everybody stab him slowly. <laughs> it's the dumbest scene in the world. Anyway, fast forward to the future. Uh, all all these people they have kids and all that stuff, and then they find you know Bones' mansion and they go inside, and then oh no, they, we've reawakened Bones. He's an angry spirit now, and he goes around and starts murdering people and like the weirdest ways possible like he summons uh ghost dogs because he's snoop dog and so he because he has those and they eat somebody and it's like it's the dumbest looking scene ever because like, you could tell that everything in it is fake and then like the dog fake the whatever the meat it's chewing is fake all the blood looks like orange custard <laughs> and everybody dies just everybody dies in that movie there's no so happy there ending. No, there's no resolution. He just kills things. <laughs> yeah, he just kills everybody, and then it ends. Doesn't the house burn down? I forget. I think it does. It probably I'm does. Sure. I couldn't I, tell you. I wouldn't you. be surprised. I don't know. Well, like, is there any, like, Halloween movies that ever, like, really annoyed you? Like, the ones that... Well, okay, no. That's a dumb question, because you already said you didn't like Halloween Town. Or Bones. Or Bones. <laughs> Guys, I have problems with a lot of things. <laughs> um, with the really scary movies, though, I think the newest Halloween movies are probably the, like, gnarliest to me. The Rob Zombie ones. Those oh, are really wow. dark. Well, Mikhail, you should watch one. Yeah, I haven't seen any Rob Zombie stuff. Well, it's okay. pretty bad. <laughs> uh, Rob Zombie, he, he's he's fantastic at capturing like really creepy moods and stuff. Um, but a lot of times in his movies, the acting isn't that great. Like in, I think it's House of a Thousand Corpses, you get to watch Chris Hardwick die in it, which was kind of great. But um, let's see, uh, uh, Halloween, his 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 take on Halloween is actually really good because it's super creepy and how it's like how it should be. And you really get an idea of like, yeah, Michael Myers is a really, really messed up kid. I didn't realize that Rob Zombie made movies. Actually, I thought he was just a musician. He was, and then he's like, I'm gonna make movies now. And so that, that that's his current thing now. He's a, he's a director and a screenwriter. Okay, so that's why I've been confused this entire time. I didn't even know he did music. Uh, if you I'm thinking Ozzy Osbourne. Not the same person. Uh, no, I know that, but I was thinking it when he was saying that, because I was like, wait, I didn't know he did music. If, if you want to know any songs by uh, Rob Zombie, I think his best one might be, uh, um, oh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the opening song for Twisted Metal 3 for the PlayStation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Dude, um... You know what movie I don't want to watch? What? Ouija. Ouija? Dude, okay, so... I've been hearing good and bad things 
What all, good have you heard from that movie? I didn't see any good. Rotten Tomatoes rated it like a 10. 10 percent. Sounds right. I and can believe then, that. And um, from the reviews, I think it got like 40 or 50 from the um, critics. I think. That 10 percent. And from then, critics, and then 37 percent from the audience. And then the audience reviews were just saying how like it was just it was fun. It wasn't more of like oh my god that's so scary. There was like a lot of funny parts. So it's the like, opposite so it was of a, a scary funny, movie. Bad movie. There you go. So it's like a B-rated movie, I guess you could say. Let me tell you how I, I know. Think so. Let me tell you how I know that Ouija was going to be bad to begin with. Uh, a, a few months ago, I, I saw the original trailer for Ouija, and in it, a uh, main girl, the first girl who dies in the movie, that's that starts this whole thing, oh, we need a Ouija board to contact her. Uh, uh, she gets attacked by some kind of spirit or something, and then she somehow gets hung by Christmas lights in her own house. I'm gonna let that sink in. Christmas lights hung her. She got hung by Christmas lights in her own house. The Christmas lights do who, Is that the question? Who the hell knows? <laughs> now, uh, uh, the day the day we watched Annabelle, which is also a horrible movie, um, I saw the trailer for Ouija again. This time, they changed the way she dies from being hung by Christmas lights in her own house to somehow falling from the second floor of her house in his story's tall. She falls from the ceiling. How'd you get there? No idea. We don't know. Mm, I thought she fell into a pile of Christmas lights. That would be that would have been so much better. Yeah, yeah. Man. I should have directed Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> I, I really hate I, how they I, spell I accept. Ouija. I accept. Ouija. I like All right, that we'll call it Ouija from now on. <laughs> it's, it's more realistic. It's kind of like how uh, M Night Shyamalan called <laughs> Aang Ong. We called what? A oh, Aang Ong. So instead of Ouija, it's Ouija. Ouija. Oh. And you know what's the best part wrong. about Ouija? Ouija? It is produced by Michael Bay. I thought, there was, I thought it would have the famous Michael really? Bay explosions. It's produced <laughs> by Michael Bay, guys. It's produced by oh, him. I am 100% uh, serious right now. It wasn't directed by him, so that's probably why there's an engines in that movie. I thought there would be some kind of... Yeah, uh, Ouija is, is made by uh, uh, um, Michael Bay's production house. I forgot what. Oh. The explosions. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm still kind of curious about it. Is that it? Just because. Because I, I, I just want to see it. I mean, like, that's exactly how, like, example, um, Human Centipede. It was a hype. Everyone started talking about how bad it was. So I needed to watch it just to experience how bad it was. And now, it was and now you're a worse person for having seen it. Well, at least with Human Centipede, it was funny because there's three people with their you know two of them with their their mouths on anuses i mean that was like the best part what other movie had two mouths on anuses uh, human centipede 2 <laughs> oh, yeah. other than human centipede 2 <laughs> i have not seen the second one i still need to see that no you do not i told you like it's it's just a satisfaction well okay it's not even the satisfaction okay yes it is a satisfaction it's just it's just you know just being in with the crowd and just finally experiencing what they were talking about it. I need to experience it. No, you don't. Anyways, uh, trends. We have to talk about Hollywood trends. Apparently right now there's a thing going on called clowning. What? Sounds hot. What is it? People just doing clown stuff. Okay, yeah, no, that's not what it is at all. <laughs> well, they're doing clown pranks. So... Or teens. So this is a new thing that teenagers are doing. Uh, basically, this is happening a lot in Florida and other like um, like Midwest or Southern states. Of course. All right. Uh, so these teenagers they dress up as creepy ass clowns and just stand around and menace people. They just yeah be creepy for no reason. Or they'll like they'll is be it like... because of American Horror Story freak show? Yes. It actually exactly. started be before uh, a freak show. But then, well, it only got worse because Freak Show has a creepy clown in it. Yeah, and then there's this thing going on where, what is it, the, like, um, people who have, people who are clowns as, like, a profession are getting really upset and offended by American Horror Story because they oh, yeah, think I read about that, that it's, um, 
they think that it basically like complicating their their profession. They're, yeah, they're making it seem like their profession is and yeah. But I mean, like, I'm not trying. Okay, clowns. I never thought clown. I mean, ever yeah. since it, just I don't like clowns. I just don't like clowns. I don't like. That's another movie I've dolls. never watched. Don't you don't like... want to watch it. Oh, but you will want to watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That never movie's fantastic. It. Never seen it. It is awesome. The one thing about it, though, I remember when I was when I like when I first watched it, there was like a part where like. I think he was brushing his teeth or something. He was doing something. One of the characters were doing something at a sink. And then there was like a red balloon that was starting to like like inflate through the sink hole or the sink drain. And then it got bigger and bi- the balloon got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it popped and then there was blood everywhere. I couldn't stand over a sink for a good like five years. Like, because of that movie. Watching it now, it probably won't wouldn't be as bad, but like seeing that when you're younger, you're just scarred and paranoid forever <laughs> because of that movie. I, I have a f- I have a friend who's to this day terrified of clowns because of it. Guys, we should totally watch it. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> or introduce them to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Double feature. I wouldn't mind seeing that either. Wasn't um wasn't the sister sister dad in it? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Go home, Roger. <laughs> TN to in my bed. I'm a smart guy. I don't, uh, I don't know. Clowns. Clowns aren't. I mean, like, has anyone rocked the sexy clown look? How can you be a sexy clown? I don't. I mean, if you could be a sexy. If, if sexy Ebola costume is a thing, I'm pretty sure sexy clown exists somewhere. I mean, I guess you could put clown noses on your nipples as covers. I can see that. Well, wouldn't uh, wouldn't a sexy clown be like a Harlequin or something? Oh, that is go. true. That is true. Well, Harlequin is more of a jester <laughs> than a clown. Yeah, I would say a jester. Oh, well, close enough. That's yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I just think like, well, okay. So there's the creepy clowns. Then we already talked about the sexy everything costume, which everyone's going nuts. Like a sexy carrot or a sexy pineapple. I've I've seen people do that. Or like basic bitches that want to be a mouse. <laughs> That's always lame. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, okay, so like, um, I heard someone do, and this is really weird, but they did, they were like a sexy, um, a sexy litter box. And then they had a what? cat be, they had the girl be a cat. So he was a sexy litter box. And then there was a sexy cat that took shits in the litter box. I don't understand why would you want. Why do you want that? I don't know. I. I, I okay. <laughs> she has a scat fetish. I think. I, feel like, I love I it feel when like, a girl shits on my chest. <laughs> I feel like in the <laughs> past few years, people have gotten really creative, and at the same time, others have gotten really stupid with costumes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> like I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean. I want to be sexy Sharknado. How, how would you do that? Oh, dude. Oh, my God. You, you know how you would do that? You would be shirtless, nothing on except for, like, a Speedo, and then you would, like, body paint, like, swirls on your body, and then you would, like, tape stuffed uh, shark heads to, to your body. I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. You, you're, you, you are naked except for a Speedo, right? Then you get a wireframe. You wrap that around you in the shape of a cone, and then a bunch of cotton and stuff on it to you know fill out the tornado. Then you put stuffed sharks on it. Yeah, that's just that's the as DIY good. You, version yeah. of Sharknado costume. <laughs> Do if you it want to make it sexy, Sharknado costume. If you want to make it sexy, you have to have a stuffed shark biting your wiener. Your wiener. Oh, that's no shark coming out. Of your wiener. Of your butthole. Oh, never mind, sorry. <laughs> and, then, and then the tail's coming out of your butthole. There you go. Sharknado sexy. There you go, guys. There's there's a great idea. Actually, that would be amazing. And the girl version, like, your boobs, you just wear a bra and there'd be, like, sharks coming out of your boobs. Yeah, it's like Madonna except sharks. Damn it, I it's wish like I thought of this. Sharks. Okay, this is this is happening for that rave, guys. Oh. <laughs> Alright, All right, Stephanie, your new costume is check NATO. No, yeah. I already have my costume. What are your costumes? Well, 
Okay, well, first of all, the rave that I will be attending, accompanied by George and other friends, is Escape. We are going to escape. And what are we going day, to escape? Wait, what? What are we going to escape? Wonderland! <laughs> I forgot that part. We keep saying escape, so then I totally forgot the other parts to it. Escape to Wonderland. So, the first day is villains. So Specifically, I'm, Batman villains. Yeah, Batman villains. So, I'm going as Lady Bane. Or attempting to do... I got the gas... Well, it's not... Is that a gas mask? It's a mask. You have Bane's mask. I have Bane's mask that I had to strategically cut up because the one that I got was way too big. It was for, like, a really big guy's head. Well, luckily, Steph, you have a pretty huge head yourself. <laughs> no, I knew you were going to say that. That's why I was trying to strategically think of how I was going to say that, but that didn't work out too well. Are you strategically yeah, going to say something else now? Skype video call. Hmm? Mikhail, go. Huh? Oh, I was measuring your head in the Skype video call. Hey! Rude? Not that big. I think uh, I have the standard size head. No, you don't. I think my head's like standard. It's not. It's not. There are plenty of people who have bigger heads than me. I think. You're like exactly. the rest of your family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> like God, you're such a jerk. Anyways, um, second day of Escape to Wonderland is I can never pronounce it right. Jordan. Dia de los away. Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. Wow. Wow. Just... It sounded like they're from Spain. I, you know, you guys, I really need to learn Spanish because I keep getting mistaken for Mexican. Wait, you're not? Shut up, Jordy. Okay. I, like, yesterday... Sorry, this is really off topic, but yesterday, like, I was giving, like, um... I gave one of the coworkers downstairs like a document and then like Is that a she, euphemism she, for something? No. <laughs> I gave her a document and then anyways she she thanked me in Spanish and I just accepted and then I just walked up back upstairs. That was a bad thing to do because now she's gonna just speak or say random Spanish words to you every time you guys pass by. I, I don't know. I I think so. I just I feel like maybe I should just learn that way, like, when I get mistaken for, one, be, uh, mistaken for one, which happens all the time, I could just talk back. Wait, Steph, wait, and if someone ever says goodnight to you, please say buenos nachos to them. Please do that for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, because it'll, it'll be delicious. What do you mean? Because that's... Is... Okay, because to say goodbye, well, goodnight in Spanish, it's buenos noches. Uh -huh. So if you say it wrong, it'd be funny. Buenos nachos. Good nachos. <laughs> Buenos nachos? That sounds really mean. I feel like I would get punched in the face. Well, maybe <laughs> next like time they shouldn't nachos. assume what race you are. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Um, do you, does anyone else have any holiday... Ho holiday? Why did I say holiday? Halloween plans that you guys are looking forward to. Yeah, 2025. Well, like, Sorry, I cut you off, Heidi. Go on. No, no, no. It's okay. Go go on. You're turning 25? That is my only plan for Halloween. <laughs> that's it. I turned 25. I mean, that's that's a good thing, right? It's a I year closer to, to the grave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to escape, but... Yeah. Heidi, Mikhail, are you guys... Do you guys have any plans for Halloween? Not, yeah. Not on Halloween. Yeah, not on Halloween, but on the weekend of Halloween, this Saturday, we're going to Kamikaze Con, which is a fan-made con, the fan making it being Stan Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it's still considered a fan-made con, but um, <laughs> we're going and we're actually going in costume. Nice. Can you guys do me a favor and find uh, the Comic Issues booth and give them a shout out for me? Sure. We'll go look for them. Sweet. They're going to be there? Yep. So you want me to just be like, oh, nice. hey, I know Jordan. He says, sup. <laughs> yes, please do it exactly that way. All right. Go I want to wanna say yeah. hi, too. I want to say hi, too. How do you know them? Like, what is the context of this encounter? Uh, Comic Issues... Uh, it, well, the guy who runs Comic Issues, Anthony Silva, he's the guy who hired me to write for PixelatedGeek.com. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, uh, he was at, uh, was it San Diego Comic Fest last weekend? Or was it two weeks ago? One of those. Uh, he was on a panel, he was on a panel with, uh, Andre yeah. the Black Nerd and, uh, these other guys. It's pretty cool. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, uh, what, what, what they're trying to, because they, they have their own Comic Issues podcast going on, and, um, they should be having a live show there, and I believe Anthony's gonna be moderating a few panels. Oh, nice. Where's that going to be at? Oh, the Kamikaze? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be... Let me find out, because I don't remember. <laughs> it's in Pasadena. 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 No, it's, not. It's, a, it's in the Los Angeles Convention Center. Haha, <laughs> wait. Oh, uh, my yeah, bad. South Figueroa Street. Sorry, I'm just thinking of... Because um, last weekend, my school team just went to Pasadena for like a speech and debate tournament. Mm. Ah, <laughs> my mind's all jumbled. But yeah, Mikkel and I are like cosplaying. I'm um, Mikkel's going as the villager from um, Animal Crossing. Mm-hmm. Slash Smash Bros. Yeah, M- mostly drawing inspiration from Scary Villager from Smash Bros. Like, there's even like little little hints of blood on his mask because oh, yeah. his printer messed up. I've seen this costume and I I think it's great. Thanks, I did it all. I think I deserve to get first place in our costume contest. I got second place for my Batgirl costume. There was a contest? Yeah, I got second place. I got two movie tickets to Edwards. When was there a contest? Uh, I think it was... Um, well, you were sitting right next to me. Yeah, so we recently went to David... Uh, or to our friends David's and his girlfriend's like a uh, housewarming Halloween party and they had like a costume contest quote unquote that wasn't really announced to anyone it was really <laughs> them to judging who had the best costumes and I like Mikhail put a me and Mikhail put a lot of like effort into his costume like we had like a bug net that we like taped over to be the right color and we had like a watering can and, and a slingshot and we even like created an exact replica of like villagers t-shirt and and had a mask and it looked legit um but i guess it wasn't like very recognizable like only people who played video games knew it so um the the winners were like uh the people who went as mermaid man and barnacle boy which was pretty good i still like yeah Yeah, they were really good good. but i I don't know i think i think the i think the sheer uh effort you guys put into the villager costume was just should have won. That, I mean, that thing, that no, was no, no, awesome. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah, that was good too, because you guys got really creative. I just had an already made shirt and socks. The only thing that took a really long time was my skirt. Did you sew it yourself or something? Um, I had to get like the pieces of Thule, the tool. Is it tool or Thule? I forgot. It's T U T U L U E E. I don't know. Tool. I, I would say like Twilly. T U L L E. Is that what it is? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. one of those. Well, yeah, I had to cut each individual piece and then tie like that weird knot where you like kind of explain it. You just you make a loop and then you pull you pull the tool through the loop and then you pull again and that just took forever. Just cuz like when you do one, you have to keep overlaying and over and then overlaying so that it gets thick and it just took forever to do. But yeah. I mean like no, don't get me wrong. I feel like, um, like creativity-wise, Mikhail's was really good. Yeah, but I think, like, um, I don't want to like take anything away from like the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy costumes because they actually did a really good job, like, mm-hmm. um, with the details. Like they yeah. they got it all the way down to like their gloves and the way that like their t-shirts were done and their belt and everything was like. And the seashell nip or bra or. Oh yeah, the yeah. Yeah. seashell. Bro, that one was good. Yeah, they did a really good job with that. Okay, they just win. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it! You should have yeah, at least then... gotten second place or something. No, but then, um, but then Steph put a lot of effort into hers, and I think hers looked really good. I tried. I really tried. Third place. You know what? It would have been announced better, or, or it would have been announced earlier, but then everyone already left. I feel like, because I was talking, um, with Mariana, too, they were, um... They were basically saying how, like, um... No, because, like, at one point, it got really hyped. Remember when everyone was there, and then it... Then, out of nowhere, like, everyone left because everyone showed up in that one car, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that was, like, 10, 11 people from the it's party that showed up at one time. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> and then when they left, they all left because they were all together. Yeah, but, I mean, like, it was supposed to be announced when everyone was there, but... 
I think, like, rounds of drinks and everything else, like, everyone was just kind of, like, scatterbrained and not thinking about it at the time. I didn't even know there was a contest until, you know, it was, like, 3 a.m. Was it that late? I think it was, like, 2 or one third. It was, like, 2. Yeah, well, I think it was, like, 2. No, but, um, uh, what else on Halloween events? So, that was the only Halloween party I went to. And... Um, was there anything that anyone was looking forward to, though, other than that? Other than your guys' uh, event on Saturday or anything? Finishing my costume. Oh, my God. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, dude, costumes are stressful. Yeah. Um, I'm doing this, this cosplay of Yasuo from League of Legends. And for those of you who don't play League of Legends... Um, he's this, like, samurai, but he's got this really intricate, detailed armor and sword, and it's taken up my life for the past two weeks. It's so much work. We've, like, I've spent so much money on, like, craft foam and glue and paint and, and um, extra stuff for the details. I bought, like, a, a huge, long, like half my size probably i think it's around like three feet long ponytail just for this thing oh, God. it'll it'll yeah. all be worth it in the end yeah it's so gonna be worth it yeah you know like i try to really save on costumes this year but like i mean like to just set up the costume is already like pricey in itself but i mean like then you end up having like materials to use for another costume later on so you, i guess you're saving yeah it's it's great like i remember going to a cosplay panel at um comic con and they were talking about how if you become a cosplayer you sort of become a hoarder because then you like buy all this stuff and then you use it for future costumes or like you go that. to thrift stores and you find like like clothes and you think oh this would make a great batman costume oh this would make a great wonder woman costume and then you buy it and never use it yeah, I could see that. I could see that very well. Because my cuffs for my Batman costume were recycled from my Wonder Woman costume for Comic-Con. Yeah. I just ripped off the red star and then attempted to make a bat and stuck it on that gold cuff. And that was yeah. me recycling. There's a lot of recycling going on with, like, cosplay, I think. Oh, yeah. You guys should see how many props I have. I have, like, five different <laughs> swords and, like, canes all yeah. over the place. Jordan, why don't you mention who you were? For the Halloween party. Well, I was one of... I could have been one of two characters from The Walking Dead. Uh, I was walking around with a beanie, a long sleeve, and a hammer with a backpack on. And I, was, and I was calling myself Tyrese. And then when I took off the beanie and dropped the hammer and got rid of my backpack, I was then Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a two-for-one deal. God damn it. <laughs> Can't you just be Bob holding a hammer, though? No. Can't Bob, Bob doesn't hold a hammer. hammer. Bob doesn't hold a hammer. I mean, but like, what if Tyrese gave Bob the hammer? Never happened. And then, and then you were suddenly Bob. Nope. Not canon. Yes. Definitely not canon. <laughs> I don't know how to... But yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna weather the armor this week. Yeah, it sounds awesome. I don't know I whether still... to weather the armor or not. <laughs> <laughs> I... Some people don't, and it, I don't know. Like, it doesn't work. Like, it, it looks weird when people just like paint it and leave it alone it looks like really cartoony for armor yeah because it's battle armor you know this is a guy who's been through battles like he's seen some shit so <laughs> he's gotta have like weathered armor you know <laughs> well halloween's coming up <laughs> and we need to get our costumes done so Thank you guys for listening to us friends talk about Halloween and hopefully we can get more of these talks done with various topics in the future. And yeah, this will all be posted on my YouTube channel, which is Stephanoids. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this very first podcast. <laughs> I am Stephanie and you guys can say bye. I'm Jordan. I'm Mikhail. I help. <laughs> Heidi, where are you at? Oh, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Got Later. <you. laughs> the worst. <laughs> worst <laughs> sign off ever. Come on, it's it's you know it's it's trial and error. I'll I'll get there. <laughs>